Hi, this is Eric with AviCAD and CAD Avenue, and I just wanted to take you through a quick tour of the new AviCAD 2017 Professional. Um, we'll look at the new toolbar first here. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is this new bar at the top. This is uh, organized a little bit differently than before. So you have your Home tab, Insert, Annotate, Layout, 3D Tools, View. It goes all the way across here. Here's your Mac Q uh, toolbar ribbon now. It's uh, been totally redesigned. Um, so you have your uh, piping on the left, your ducting, structural, mechanical, and then your configuration and utilities. Uh, we've also added like a little help icon here which I hope you can find um, basically it just it's an online help uh, library here so you can just kind of double click down and find uh, you know different um, help topics so I also wanted to show you that this new icon up here is also clickable so you'll be able to open up and save your drawings just by clicking on this little uh, AviCAD icon here um, you can print and so forth now all your layers and so forth are going to be in the home tab and here you can change the properties and so forth here you can change the layers the current layers turn them off and on freeze the layers in, in viewports and so forth um, so I highly recommend you getting used to this ribbon if you can uh, it does uh, cut down in your drawing space slightly, but um, it is a, a quite useful thing to have turned on. It just takes a little getting used to. If you'd rather sl switch to the uh, classic view, um, I'll show you how to do that. And basically down here, you have your two choices here, ribbon and classic. You just choose this. And once you do that, it loads the, uh, the old style menu down here. You'll still need to turn this off by using the ribbon command. So you just type ribbon and then you'll type off. And that will turn off the top toolbar. So I wanted to show you that real quick. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and and we're gonna switch this back to the ribbon. let's get into 101 CAD and the first thing I wanted to show you was how to zoom and pan in a drawing um, there's a few ways to do this but I guess the most obvious way is just to choose the view tab and then from here choose the pan and then you can pan around just by dragging your mouse uh, there's also real-time zoom which you can do just by um, clicking on the area that you want to zoom in on and then using your um, your scroll button on your mouse just to scroll back and forth between the area you want to zoom in at. Uh, this is more your typical way of zooming, just using the uh, window icon, zooming down into a certain spot. Uh, I like to use the command bar for zooming, so when I zoom I just type Z for zoom then you're presented with these um, options. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. The ones that I like to use are previous and extents. So those two. Um, so if I want to go previous to the zoom that I was just at, I could just do a Z and then a P for previous. And that was the original zoom command. Now if I wanted to do a zoom extents, which is the entire drawing, I just type Z and then E. So it's a lot faster, I think, than maybe uh, using these uh, icons, but it's up to you how you want to do that. Um, the, since the zoom command is so widely used, I would get used to using the Z command and then the E and the P command. Um, again, uh, your pan command uh, can be activated as well with a shortcut instead of using uh, this icon you can just hold down your uh, command key and use your mouse and then just drag your mouse however you want so that's a real good shortcut as far as being able to just move around in your drawing 
Um, let me quickly discuss the layer section of the ribbon. Um, it's a little bit different than before. All your layer shortcuts are going to be under here. Uh, be previously they were down here next to the ready uh, command. Uh, but essentially it's the same. You got the layer list and then you have the layers that are in your drawing. Um, for those that are new to layers, um, I would recommend going into the help reference and going down to command reference and then getting into the layer command. Kind of reading up on this a little bit uh, will be helpful but for the most part um, I think that let's say if because right now we're on the waist fitting layer as you can see here and also in the home uh, tab. Um, if we wanted to quickly toggle to this layer here, which is the perimeter beams layer, as you can see, it tells you what layer you're on if you click on it. Um, so let's say if we wanted to go in the, the perimeter beams layer, we would just go up to this little shortcut, set layer by entity. We'd come down here, we'd select the layer, and voila, we are actually on the perimeters beams layer just as simple as that. So I think that's probably the quickest way of changing a layer versus trying to go into this pull down menu and then figure out what layer you're in. Of course this won't work if you don't have any existing layers in your drawing but once you start uh, drawing and setting up layers this is a real quick way of doing that. So now if I draw a line I'm going to be on that perimeter beams layer whereas before I would have been on the uh, waste layer. So. Just wanted to show you that real quick, um, and hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, my number here is 888-271-7121, and our main email address is info at cadavenue.com. Thanks, and have a great day.